hey guys welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome to the my if it's your first time girl make sure you subscribe before you head on out okay okay make sure you subscribe all right y'all so in today's video i'm basically about to be back at it again with another effing story time for y'all hopes so in this story time i'm gonna be telling y'all something that happened to me um it was mad embarrassing this is a word of advice this is a secret this will help everybody be a little bit more successful in college bitch let me tell you something before we even start this video let me give y'all the trick first of all don't don't let me say it for y'all one more time do not don't do not buy old navy flip-flops as your shower shoes in college girl it is the worst thing ever it is the biggest misconception that that should be a shower shoe don't think just because it's a flip-flop and it be on sale that you should use it because girl you're gonna lose your life now let me tell you how i lost right. mine so this is another story time that date back to bloom so, as y'all know, because y'all should have been watching my other videos, I went to Bloomsburg University my first year of college. So, a lot of shit happened that first year, okay? But this is probably the most embarrassing thing. This is probably the, yeah, most likely. So, so let me just tell y'all, because we're not about to make this a long story time. We're going to get right to the point. So, one day, right, your girl, your girl, me, you know, Z, me. So, one day, I'm, I'm, you know, just living my best college life or whatever, whatever the case may be. So, me and my friend Deja, um, I'm not going to give her a fake name because I already didn't told y'all the name. Her name is Deja. She was my roommate. We lived in Schuylkill on Bloomsburg University campus, right? So, at the time, we... In that bathroom, right? It was one big bathroom, like one hand, it was a handicapped bathroom, not bathroom, I keep saying bathroom. It was a handicapped shower. I think it was four showers in total in that bathroom. So it was a handicapped shower that like sat by itself that was off to the right hand side. And then on the other side, like literally not the other side, it was like right side, left side. On the left side, it was like three individual smaller showers, just like for the normal person or whatever the case may be. So your girl, I did not like the individual showers. I didn't like the individual showers because they were really small and the effing shower curtain would touch your body and I think that is so repulsive. Like that's so nasty to me. So I never wanted to go in that little independent, not the independent. Okay. Little. So one day, I'm pretty sure we were coming back from going out. And I'm only gonna say that because when it's time to go out, almost everybody in college is going out at the same time. So we're all getting ready at the same time, pre-gaming at the same time in our dorm. So this day it was late. I vividly remember it being really, really late. And it was nobody else in the bathroom except for me and another person that was in the shower. So girl, I walk in here, you know, with my doing my little thing, like walk, 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 walking down the hall. I get to the bathroom. I see that the handicapped bathroom is open. So I go in here because I'm finna take a shower. So I line my stuff all up. I had a little shower caddy. Get, make sure you get a shower caddy if you're in college. So I had a little shower caddy. I put it on a little seat joint that is in the handicap bathroom for people who are handicapped to sit and wash themselves. So I put my shower caddy down, girl. I'm washing up. I'm doing my thing, singing my songs, having a good time, having a good shower. So, girl. This is when shit gets real because you know everything up to now is pretty normal, right? Everything sound normal, everything just just like, okay, girl, you was in the shower. Like, what could be the issue? Like, you was in the shower in the women's bathroom. What, what could be the problem? The problem is me, sis. The problem is me. So your girl finished showering or whatever. <laughs> I'm cool. So I don't think I was drunk for real, for real. And I, I could have been tipsy, but I do not think I was drunk. I think I was very much aware of what I was doing taking a shower so I take a shower I finish taking my shower I dry myself off or whatever and girl do you know I go to step out the shower bitch I go to step out the shower and I slipped bitch I slipped I said Phew, boom and when I fell bitch 
I pulled the curtain down. This shit was falling. And I was trying to find something to break my fall. Because in my mind, I'm like, why am I falling? I just washed my booty hole. And now I'm falling on this dirty ass floor? Like, no, 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 no. So as I'm like slipping, as my foot is coming up in the air, I grab onto the shower curtain. This is what's wrong with universities. Y'all need to get better shower rides. So as I pull onto the shower curtain, girl, my body is falling. Like, just, just get a visual of what's going on here. So I step out the shower. You see? Step out. This leg slips up. My body goes back. I grab onto the curtain to bring the girl back. The curtain breaks. The epic curtain breaks, bro. The curtain breaks as I'm holding on for support. I'm holding on for dear life, bruh. And the curtain breaks. Now, like I said, there's somebody else in the shower across from me. Not only do I fall, but I fall and try to grab onto the shower curtain to, to help me. And girl, it hurt me. I fell on the floor, girl. I bust my ass period it was over for me and i know i bust my ass because i was so embarrassed when i fell i just got up and left i was just like i'm in pain i gotta go bitch i was in shock i fell so hard bitch now imagine this like i don't have on clothes i have on the towel that i just used to dry myself and i just got out of the shower and I fall, and y'all know, I don't know if y'all know, but it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't a soft, like, ground in the bathroom in college dorms. It's like a hard tile ground, bitch. My body flipped up and fell down. Hard as hell. So fucking hard, bitch. Like, bitch, I fell so hard, I broke my flip-flops. How? 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 How I fought that hard? So I, I, I'm speed walking to my dorm. My dorm is all the way at the end of the hall. I get in my dorm and I tell my roommate, I say, bitch, bitch, I just fell. She said, bitch, what? I said, bitch, I just fell out the shower and I broke the curtain, bitch. She said, bitch, what? I said, I broke the curtain. This bitch starts laughing at me. I'm a joke. I'm a fault. So y'all may be like Z, whatever happened with the curtain? Sis, I don't know. I didn't go back there that night. The next day when I went, the curtain was back up. So I guess maintenance or whomever must have came and handled it. I didn't go back there. What I'm gonna go back there for so I can embarrass myself? I'm the one that broke it. I'm not gonna tell nobody that I broke it because I was falling and I tried to save and hold on to it for dear life and it failed me. I ain't telling nobody nothing. Girl, it was broke. It was broke, 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 broke. I was sick, 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 sick. I was salty, 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 salty. And I'm telling y'all this story now to let y'all know, do not buy nobody's old name these flip-flops and make them your shower shoes in college period do not and if somebody buy you the flip-flops just wear them just just wear them but do not use them in the shower at college but you will lose your life you will lose your limbs you will lose your ass you will lose your feeling bitch i was in shock for days i had back pain from falling that hard and i couldn't even sue the university because they literally tell us not to use flip-flops but I didn't read that or I didn't see that. Or my mother, she didn't adhere because she the one that bought me them old lady flip flops to be my shower shoes. So, <sighs> I told y'all it was gonna be a quick story time and, and that's what it was. That That's what happened to me. Learn from me, learn from Z. Do not go up to the university and make old lady flip flops your shower shoes. Sis. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna bust your ass. And it's not worth it. It's not worth the embarrassment. It's not worth the pain. It's not worth the like the franticness. It's not worth putting your body in a flight or fight situation. It's not worth none of the above. So the best thing is to just just buy actual shower shoes. That's it. All right, y'all. So that was the end of my story time. <laughs> As y'all know, I got straight to the point because this. 
Don't get no Old Navy shoes and make them your shower shoes, period. Okay, because you're nine times out of ten going to bust your ass. So, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. If you ain't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you don't already, make sure you turn on your post <laughs> notifications so that you know every time your girl's going to post a video because she is, she, she is me and I am her and I'm a little inconsistent. But I'm still coming through with the video, so make sure that you are doing your part and you know whenever i'm posting one okay so i'll see y'all in the next freaking video bye <laughs>